While Dinah Washington's influence was perhaps greatest in the realm of rhythm and blues, she was a respected jazz artist with one of the most unique and recognizable voices. Ruth Lee Jones was born in Alabama in 1924, which makes her the same age as Sarah Vaughan, and she was raised in Chicago. She adopted her stage name of Dinah Washington sometime in the early 1940s, and at least three people laid claim to making that suggestion. Like Sarah and Aretha Franklin, she was raised in the Baptist Church. That strong musical tradition imbued her with a voice that could transcend musical boundaries. In Dinah's words, I can sing anything, anything at all. Her first recordings as a solo artist were made in the mid-1940s, while she was also singing with Lionel Hampton's big band. She had a string of hits from that point through the 1950s, with the biggest coming in 1959, with What a Difference a Day Makes. Her piano player at that time was Joe Zawinul, who would make history in the 1970s with the fusion band Weather Report. Most of Dinah's hits were on the R&B or popular music charts, which led some jazz fans to accuse her of selling out. That seems to be a common criticism of jazz musicians who achieve commercial success. Writer Richard Ganell put it this way, Her principal sin, apparently, was to cultivate a distinctive vocal style that was at home in all kinds of music, be it R&B, blues, jazz, middle-of-the-road pop, and she probably would have made a fine gospel or country singer had she the time. It is true that some of Dinah's biggest hits bear little resemblance to jazz and are sometimes heavily diluted with strings and background vocals. But that doesn't take away from her ability and importance as a jazz musician. In this pic, the caption reads, Making like teenagers, blues singer Dinah Washington and bebop trumpeter Dizzy Gillespie get their heads together to give a malted milk the twin straw treatment. Dinah Washington had a strong influence on many singers to follow, including Nancy Wilson, who can actually sound a lot like Dinah, Aretha Franklin, and in more recent times, Amy Winehouse. Her importance as an R&B artist is demonstrated by the fact that in 1993, she was voted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Dinah was unafraid to speak her mind, and she was not one to suffer fools gladly. You can get a sense of that in this 1951 radio broadcast when she tells the announcer to get lost. As far as I'm concerned, anybody who performed with this rhythm section has their jazz credentials intact. How many times a year do you say, baby, get lost? <laughs> As many times as you know. Uh, we play bass, we play drums. Just like I'm telling you right now, get lost. Get lost, man. I want to be loved with inspiration. I want to be loved starting tonight instead of me. Holding conversation mm -hmm, Hold me tight I want to be kissed Until I tingle I want to be kissed Starting tonight Embrace me till our heart beats to mingle roll all I feel like acting my age I'm past the stage of merely turtle dolphin I'm in no mood to resist To desperation, I want to be thrilled starting tonight with every kind of wonderful sensation. Mm, I want to be loved. With every kind of wonderful sensation
Dinah was partial to extravagant attire like wigs and fur. Her sister claimed that she had a fur toilet seat. She would sometimes sing ribald lyrics expressing her fondness for men. She was married seven or nine times, the count is unclear. My lean baby's tall and thin, five feet seven of bones and skins. But when he tells me maybe he loves me, I feel as whirly as a girly can be. He's so skinny, he's so drawn. When he stands sideways, you think he's gone. But when he calls me baby, I feel fine to think he's frantically, romantically mine. He's slender, but he's tender, makes my heart surrender. And every night when I hold him tight, the feeling is nice, moms can go around twice. My lean baby, he's so slim, a broomstick so wide to compared to him. But when he starts to kiss me, then I know I love him so I'll never, ever let him go. I chased him and I caught him. A diamond ring I bought him. Now the diamond shines. The ring is fine, but uh, here's the twist. He wears it round his wrist. My lean baby, strange to see, but all this nothing belongs to me. And when he starts to kiss me, then I know I love him, so I'll never ever let him go. Uh, yes, I love him, and I'll never let him go. This is one of my favorite Dinah Washington recordings from a live recording in 1955. I confess that that may be because it showcases three trumpet players, Clifford Brown, Clark Terry, and Maynard Ferguson. Maynard is the outlier in this group. He was known primarily for high-note pyrotechnics, but he holds his own in this case with two of the greatest jazz trumpet players ever. Clifford seems more inspired than usual to show off his own high chops. I've got you under my skin In the heart of me So deep in my heart You're really a part of me I've got you Under my skin I tried so Not to give in I said to myself This affair never Will go so well But why should I try to resist when, darling, I know so well I've got you under my skin. I'd sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near. In spite of the warning voice that comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear, don't you know? But each time that I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. Yes, I've got you mm, under my skin.
the sake of having you near in spite of the warning voice that comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear Each time that I do just the thought of you 